Barely a breath in and we're diving deep into the world of casinos. Ever notice how they print winnings on vouchers not cash? An ink smudge, a tear, a little wear and tear, and poof! Your winnings vanish, expired and voided. Enter Mr. Bradley Joseph Lawrence Savoy, labeled a thief for scooping up abandoned tickets. But who's the real culprit here, the casinos, pocketing winnings that aren't truly theirs? Remember both winner and casino hold tax rights to these winnings. So when casinos refuse to pay out in cash, aren't they the ones bending the rules? It's high time for justice. Class action lawsuits knocking on the doors of every player's cardholder. The house doesn't always win and it's time they learn that. This is where we draw the line. Don't let the dazzle blind you to the truth. In a world where accountability is key, envision the Black Lives Matters ring, a smart wearable for law enforcement. Imagine each time an officer draws their pistol, the time and location are logged. The same occurs when a shot is fired. Simultaneously, an alert akin to an amber alert is sent to all smart devices within potential bullet range, notifying of a drawn weapon, a measure designed to increase transparency and safety. Now consider the All Lives Matters ring. Worn by any American who can clean, load, and accurately fire a gun, this ring doubles as a gun permit. These innovations are the brainchild of Mr. Bradley Joseph Lawrence Savoy, a future where technology and responsibility intersect, potentially transforming the way we approach safety and accountability. Cue in on Tulsa, Oklahoma, a city grappling with a hidden crisis. Beneath the surface of its metropolitan hustle and bustle, a chilling narrative unfolds. Our focus the city's homeless community, allegedly trapped under the oppressive weight of first responders, private security guards, and courthouses. Meet Bradley Joseph Lawrence Savoy, a brave voice within this community, ready to step into the light. Savoy with an unbroken spirit is prepared to take a lie detector test, willing to release his personal medical history to validate his claims. He's not just defending himself, but speaking out for an entire community. Ponder this. If truth is the first casualty of war, who bears the burden when the war is against the homeless? Savoy's quest for justice is a cry for humanity, a call for us all to listen, to understand, and to act. As we loop back, remember, every story matters, every voice counts. This is Tulsa's untold story. Imagine a world where river basins can't do their jobs. Puzzling, isn't it? But that's what's happening. Our levee systems, built to protect us, are ironically upsetting the natural balance. When rivers merge with oceans, a certain water ratio must be maintained. Now it's all out of whack. The outcome, hypoxia zones, areas in oceans, lakes, and rivers lacking sufficient oxygen. Life struggles to survive here, and there's more. This imbalance is also contributing to global warming. A double whammy, you could say. So, what's the solution? It's complex, but understanding the problem is the first step. We've got to respect the natural balance of our world, because sometimes our well-intended actions can have unintended consequences. Remember, a healthy planet requires the harmony of all its parts. Let's strive to preserve it. In a world where communication is key, a startling revelation emerges. On the 1st of April, 2024, Congress pulls the plug, refusing to foot the bill for government phones. Who bears the brunt? The economically challenged among us, left voiceless in the digital age. Enter Bradley Joseph Lawrence Savoy, a man convinced this is no mere budget cut. Savoy, a character as colorful as his theories, might be tagged narcissistic or even schizophrenic. Yet he firmly believes this isn't about money, it's about silence. He theorizes that this move is a response to the surge of police misconduct cases spotlighted on social media. A bold claim indeed. Is it paranoia or a stroke of insight? Time will tell. Until then, the debate rages on. This is the world we live in where every voice matters or does it. 